you on? Right. right here, man, we got uh, your boy, you know what I'm saying, upcoming or whatever. You need to watch out or whatever because he's he doing a couple of things out here. We're going to talk about a couple of things in his life or whatever, you know, that may have, been, may have brought him to where he is right now. And you know, we just want to hear his feedback as to, you know what I'm saying, how this industry is, man. And just, you know, coming from the bottom to the top. All right, all right. How y'all doing out there today? All right, my name, you know, is Jamal Johnson, you hear me? I came from, well, well I'm, 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 I'm born and raised in, I mean, I'm born in Fifth Ward, Texas, man. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I was born with an ace on my back, you know what I'm saying? My mom was, my mom was on, on, the, on the crack or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And... Oh man, he had he had family over here and over here, so I didn't have no time. I didn't have the love like I like I like I thought I should have, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I'm I, I, I so that's when I turned to the streets looking for some love. You know what I'm saying? When when I, I, I when I had it, I had love, but I didn't I didn't I, I didn't I didn't seen it sh I, I haven't seen it shown to me. You know what I mean? So I mean I bust, I'm in the streets, man. I, I'm Misguided man, you know what I'm saying? I let the street I let the streets raise me or whatever, Ooh, I'm in the streets or whatever, so and then and, uh well, you know, one thing led to another, you know, I'm I'm getting in trouble. I'm in I'm in the streets getting in trouble, man, going to juvenile, going to, I'm nineteen years old, going to the penitentiary or whatever, you know what I'm saying, whoop the whoop, but wham the wham, you know what I'm saying? But okay, that, that taught me a little lesson, man, you know, going to the penitentiary. Hold up, man. Uh, before you get into that, man, I, I want to talk about it, man, real quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is your documentary. This is what you're doing, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you're real to the public, so let's talk about that. Yeah. Uh, um, <clears throat> you had a situation, whatever happened not too long ago, man, where you was incarcerated. Man. Now, what was that whole situation about, and, I mean, what did you get out of it, man? Really, man, I, I mean, that was me, young, man, not, not giving a not giving a damn at all, you know what I'm saying? I got I, I got I got caught up or whatever in a little situation on probation, violate probation. I, I got sent to the penitentiary two years. Okay, so I'm I mean God man, God man, look here, he sent me through it all day long. So it was a reason why I went to the pen it was my turn to go to the penitentiary because I know if I wouldn't have went to the penitentiary, it'd have been something worse than the penitentiary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I mean, I thank God that I went to the penitentiary, so I, 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 he set me down so I could learn. I could sit back and think about my life. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm, where I've been, and where I'm, where I'm at right now, and where I'm supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he set me down. So, so when I'm in the penitentiary, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I got number time on my hands. Yeah. I can't do nothing else. Yeah. But think. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and really, when that's, that's when I first started reading, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm in school or whatever. I ain't worried about reading, but. I get to the penitentiary, man. So I wanted to expand my mind. I'm, I'm these old schools in my head, like, man, you a good dude. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of potential, with you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm soaking game, man. I'm soaking game, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, and I learned about first thing I learned, the main thing I learned in jail is about respect. Yeah. Cause you, you got nothing, nothing but men in there. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to respect yourself, so you can respect, respect the, the next cat. You know what I'm saying? But I learned a whole lot of jail, man. I learned, I learned. I learned how to how to grow, and I learned how to how to how to you know what I'm saying like I learned how to buy with different personalities, different people. You know what I'm saying? So that taught me a whole lot, man. It taught me to stay out of trouble, man, and and enjoy my freedom and, enjoy, and love my freedom. You know what I mean? Cause freedom, man, that's one of the best things you can have in life, man. Freedom, man. You know what I'm saying? So you mean to tell me that uh and 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 uh, the incarc the the time of your incarceration or whatever then, I mean it kind of you know uh, you know uh, developed you, uh, made you uh, be a little bit wiser or whatever. Think about a lot of different things. I mean, cause uh, how many years did you say you was gone in your life for that? I was nineteen. I did two years. You so you went to jail for two years, man, from nineteen to twenty one. Which is a very crucial time to a, to a lot of individuals. To I mean that that of young adults and adolescents, uh, those are very crucial periods. So I mean, you actually I mean it's a blessing with a curse at the same time because you had to sit there and do that time. Blessing. But in 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 that time, well I mean, you know I mean to to others it may have been a curse and a blessing because they they missed two years out of their life. Yeah. But I'm, I'm guessing or whatever more than anything it's a blessing because in that time adolescence or whatever it. While other men, other men were out here calling themselves becoming men, uh -huh. you were actually doing a hard time becoming a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I love it. 
Because, like I said in one of my songs, a song called, called Man Up. Yeah. I say a lesson is a blessing. Yeah. And a blessing is automatically a lesson. Because every time you go through something, it's a lesson. But you, but as long as you learn from that lesson, it'll turn into a blessing because you because you know now. So you know how to handle yourself. So a lesson is automatically a best a blessing, man. So I'm glad I went, I went through that situation when I was young. So I, so, I, so I can know, I learned from when I was young, so I can know how to handle myself when I get older. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, okay, when, when I'm in, I'm, I, I'm learning from it. When I, when I get out of jail or whatever, I, try, I got me a job. I try to get on my head right here, right here, right then. Another situation. I'm down on my ass again. So, so I mean, I, I do what I know how to do. Yeah. That's in the, getting in these streets and hustling. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in the streets or whatever. Woo, 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 going through situations. I'm, I'm going out of town or whatever. Whatever. Irrelevant anyway. But, I mean, as a question or whatever, I mean, like I said once again, we're just going to stick to the subject of this being your documentary. So, I'm going to ask the questions. Okay. But, I mean, do you glamorize the street life? Did it? Was there ever a point in time where it was just you're doing it for fun? I mean, wow. I mean, fun is there. But I can't say I was doing it for fun. Yeah. Cause I I I, I know one thing and two for sure. Money is this it's a necessity. Yeah. I don't love money, but it's a necessity. I gotta have it. Yeah. Because I gotta pay bills. I, I learned I learned how to live 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 on my own, man. So I know I gotta I gotta take care of my bills and shit like that, whatever. So fun is there, of course. You know what I'm saying? You you doing this and doing that there, but I'm not doing it. For, I don't do it for fun. Like today, I don't hustle for fun. Yeah. I hustle for funds. <laughs> I, let, I, let, I, let, yeah. I let the money make the money so I can collect, you know what I'm saying? So I can collect for my son and myself. Oh, 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 oh,